the film and tell us how you came to be involved in such a huge project. Well, uh, I uh, auditioned for Clint Eastwood in November of uh, 2008 and three months later I was fortunate to, uh, to get the job. So I, uh, I play a uh, South African film, I play uh, Captain Etienne Fader, who is the head uh, white bodyguard of Mandela. How many of those players, real rugby players, and how many were actors like yourself? Uh, well, I, I don't actually play any rugby in the film. Uh, I leave that to the, the big guys, but uh, no, I'd say about 95, 96% maybe of those guys that you see up on screen are real rugby players. So what was the whole production like? Because it was in South Africa, Clint Eastwood directing, yeah. I mean, you've got Morgan Freeman, you've got Nelson Mandela's blessing. Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. It really was a dream job, you know. Uh, for an actor, it's a dream, dream job. But uh, for a Welshman to be in a rugby blockbuster, it doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. And for Welsh rugby fans, a couple of treats. You get to see Scotland getting beaten, and you get to see England getting absolutely want. I know, I, I did have a little chuckle. We, uh, you know, we watched the um, rerun of the, the build-up to the final a couple of times in Johannesburg. And to see Lomi running over my dad, and it was just so, bad, so many great men. <laughs> and what were you like as a rugby player as a lad? Um, I was okay, I was quite big, for the, you know, for my age, quite fast, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. One of those things. I, I guess you know I wouldn't have been an actor then if I'd have been a rugby. What was your peak rugby moment? Rugby moment. I was probably carrying off people uh, over the trailer yeah, with my ball in the hand. So would you like to do uh, get a production going, perhaps make one of one of uh, Wales' recent Grand Slams, make a film about that? That, that would be nice, wouldn't it? You know, and if we get the Grand Slam this year, it'd be the best. Of it. So yeah, would you? Uh, I mean, it's just such an incredible thing to have, to have done the movie. How would you sum up what's been made? It really was incredible. If I got this job and we'd have filmed it in London or you know closer to home, it would have been fantastic to work with Mr. Eastwood and Morgan and Man. But then to go to South Africa to be away in a fantastic country where it actually happened, you know, filming on location, it really was a, a dream come true. I was just over the moon. Did you play rugby at all, like, between takes? We, we, uh, we actually got to play a little bit of touch rugby on uh, uh, Mandela's lawn, Mr. Mandela's lawn, yes, we did. Uh, on his real lawn. I hope you replaced any divots. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> did you score a try on Mandela's lawn? No, I put on a green tackle. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very Cheers, welcome. Thank Thanks you. So much. Cheers. <laughs>